1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon. It's my honor to welcome each of you on this joyous occasion. We in the College of Human Ecology join family and friends in celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of spring 2015. At this time, I invite you to remain standing and join Rachel Hunt, a junior in applied music and women's studies from Manhattan, and Stephen Kutura, a senior in applied music and accounting from Kansas City, Kansas, in singing the national anthem. Thank you, Rachel and Stephen. As I introduce today's platform party, I ask that you hold your applause until all are introduced. And please be seated. From my right, your left, Dr. Amber Benham, Assistant Professor, School of Family Studies and Human Services, and recipient of the Dolly Scholar Award for Faculty and Student Development. Christian Larson, Instructor and Academic Advisor, Department of Kinesiology, and a recipient of the Commerce Bank Outstanding Undergraduate Teaching Award. Dr. April Mason, Provost, Senior Vice President, and Professor of Human Nutrition. Dr. Kirk Scholz, President and Commencement Speaker. Dr. John Buckwalter, Dean. Fred Seidner, Senior Vice President and COO, K-State Alumni Association. Barbara Anderson, Associate Professor and Department Head, Apparel, Textiles, and Interior Design. Dr. Dorothy Durbin, Professor and School Director, School of Family Studies and Human Services. Dr. Melody LaHue, Professor and Interim Department Head, Hospitality Management and Dietetics. Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean for, the, for Student Support and Research Assistant Professor in Human Nutrition. Rachel Hunt, Vocalist. Samantha Clausen, a degree candidate in Dietetics and Nutritional Sciences and Student Commencement Speaker. Dr. Craig Harms, Professor and department head, kinesiology. Dr. Mark Hobb, associate professor and department head, human nutrition. Dr. Majek Kalp, professor, department of apparel, textiles, and interior design, and recipient of the Faculty Research Excellence Award. Dr. Kevin Roberts, associate professor, department of hospitality management, and recipient of the Faculty Research Excellence Award. Dr. Gail Dahl, Director and Associate Professor, Center on Aging, and recipient of the Myers Alford Teaching Award. Dr. Bronwyn Fees, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, and Associate Professor, School of Family Studies and Human Services. Dr. John Bachwalter, Dean of the College of Human Ecology, will recognize our faculty award recipients and our student speaker.
While we have many accomplished faculty members in the College of Human Ecology, it is my honor and pleasure to mention six outstanding faculty members this afternoon for special recognition. Faculty award winners, will you please stand as your name is announced and stay standing until all the names have been called. Please hold your applause until all the winners have been introduced. Christian Larson. Christian Larson was selected as the recipient of the Commerce Bank Undergraduate Teaching Award. Dr. Annam, Dr. Amber Venom. Dr. Venom was selected as the recipient of the Dolly Scholar Award for Excellence in Student Development. Dr. Elizabeth Kish was selected as the recipient of the Faculty Extension Excellence Award. Unfortunately, she was unable to attend today. Dr. Majet Kaup and Dr. Kevin Roberts were selected as the recipients of the Faculty Research Excellence Award. Dr. Gail Dole was selected as the recipient of the Myers Alford Teaching Award. Will you please join me in congratulating our 2015 Faculty Award recipients? Graduates, your families and your faculty are so very proud of your accomplishments. We expect that the future will hold great promise for each of you. Today, we celebrate your accomplishments at K-State. Samantha Clausen will represent the graduating class as the spring 2015 student commencement speaker. Samantha, will you please join me at the podium? Samantha Clausen, a graduating senior in Dietetics and Nutritional Sciences, has served as an undergraduate teaching assistant. She was an ambassador for the college and a scholar tour guide. She was a member of Mortarboard, Chimes, and Silver Key Honorary Societies. Samantha is the daughter of Kim and Debbie Clausen of Whitewater, Kansas. The College of Human Ecology is pleased to welcome Samantha as she speaks on behalf of the graduating class. Congratulations. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, faculty, family, and friends. Thank you for this honor of speaking to you today. When I was nervously filling out housing forms and signing up for orientation four years ago, I never imagined I would find myself in this position on graduation day. During my four years here at Kansas State University, I have witnessed many construction projects across campus. From the renovation of Justin Hall and Rec Center updates to the massive raising of the West Stadium Center, and more recent groundbreaking on a new College of Business building. However, it has not just been the buildings on campus that have been constructed during the past four years. We have been building ourselves into educated professionals that can give back to our communities, nations, and world. Hours of lectures and note-taking, work done in labs and studios, internships, volunteering, and jobs have all been materials for the foundation of an education that will last for many, many years into our future. The construction process took hard work, time, and constant problem solving, but we are now starting to see our career goals take shape in concrete structures. Besides the book learning of college, we have discovered a lot about our personal strengths and weaknesses. By putting ourselves in new and sometimes uncomfortable situations. For example, after enthusiastically participating in two basketball court stormings and a football field rushing, I learned that I am slightly claustrophobic in large crowds of excited, sweaty people. Like many things in college, though, 
the experience is well worth it for the memories. Of course, we could not have raised the structures we have without the assistance and expertise of many others. Faculty members, fellow students, and mentors all lent a hand in our educational construction by serving as advisors, encouraging us, and always being available to assist us when material was challenging. Family and friends have provided encouragement and support, and I would personally like to thank my fellow classmates, this university's amazing faculty and staff, and my wonderful family and friends for their support of all of my endeavors. Now, after many years and lots of personal investment, our structures are complete. This commencement ceremony is the ribbon cutting on each of our buildings. After all of the work we put into building ourselves into educated individuals, it is important we use our knowledge well in the futures before us. In the years to come, all of us will have additions or renovations to the foundation we completed at K-State. We will pursue further degrees and certifications and gain even more knowledge and experience out in the real world. Still, we should always appreciate the foundations we have built here. We should not be content to keep all of the expertise we have gained here at K-State to ourselves. It is now our turn to give back and aid others in building their own futures. After all, that is the K-State family way. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean, will now recognize students with academic honors. Thank you, Samantha. It is now my pleasure to recognize students whose academic performance earned cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude honors. 31 students have been awarded the designation cum laude. These students have a cumulative K-State grade point average of 3.750 to 3.849. 34 of our students have been awarded the designation magna cum laude. These students achieved a 3.850 to a 3.949 K-State academic average. And 21 students have been awarded the designation summa cum laude, the highest academic honor conveyed by the university. These students have attained a 3.950 or higher cumulative K-State grade point average. Will the students who have earned summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude designations please stand to be recognized? Congratulations, students. We have had six students who have completed the College of Human Ecology Honors Program. Honors Program members must maintain a 3.5 cumulative grade point average and complete a two or three credit independent project or research problems course to qualify to have Honors Program imprinted on their diplomas. Will each student remain standing until all are introduced? Please hold your applause until all names are called. The students are Samantha Claussen, Dietetics and Nutritional Sciences, Dr. Rick Rosencrantz, Advisor. Danielle Dobratz, Public Health Nutrition, Dr. Tonda Kidd, Advisor. Casey Gatz, Family Studies in Human Services, Dr. Brianna Nelson Goff, Advisor. Melissa Montgomery, Interior Design, Dr. Brian Orthel, Program Advisor. Abby Reynolds, Communication Sciences and Disorders, Dr. Deborah Burnett, Advisor. Jessica Spencer, 
Athletic Training, Dr. Shauna Jordan, advisor. Please join me in congratulating these students. Thank you, students. Kappa Omicron Nu is a national honor society dedicated to recognizing and encouraging excellence in scholarship, research, and leadership in human ecology. Kappa Omicron Nu students and faculty are wearing cords today. Eta Sigma Delta is an international honor society for students with an ex excellent academic record in the hospitality and tourism industry. Eta Sigma Delta students are also wearing honor cords today as well. At this time, I ask Associate Dean Bronwyn Fees to come introduce our commencement speaker. Thank you, Dr. Jordan. Unfortunately, circumstances have prevented our scheduled commencement speaker, Dr. Carol Kellett, professor and dean emeritus, from joining us today. She wanted me to share her reflections with you. I was honored and humbled to be selected as the speaker for the College of Human Ecology commencement ceremony of spring 2015. Unfortunately, circumstances prevent me from joining you for the celebration. As your family and friends join you to celebrate your graduation, you take with you the expertise of our College of Human Ecology motto. In a world focused on things, we focus first on people. Each of you will live that motto as you practice your profession. Today, your graduation recognizes a milestone in your life, completion of a baccalaureate degree. So why do we call the event this afternoon commencement? As you complete this goal, you begin, you commence another phase of your life with a new life goal. Best wishes for success and congratulations. I have the honor this afternoon to introduce President Kirk Schultz, who will be our distinguished speaker today. Kirk Schultz was selected as the 13th president of Kansas State University in February 2009 by the Kansas Board of Regents. His first three years as president, Dr. Schultz spearheaded visionary campus-wide goal setting to move K-State forward to be recognized as a top 50 public research university by 2025. The visionary plan is inclusive of the K-State family, is exciting and innovative, and most importantly, is a plan that enjoyed campus-wide involvement and participation. Schultz holds the Kansas State University Leadership Professorship and represents the Big 12 Conference on the National Collegiate Athletic Association Division I Board of Directors. He also is serving as chair of the National Collegiate Athletic Association's Board of Governors from 2015 to 2017, as well as chair of the Big 12 Conference Board of Directors beginning 2005, June 2015 through 2017. Before his appointment as president, Schultz served as vice president for research and economic development at Mississippi State University. He also served as the faculty at Michigan Technology University, excuse me, Technological University and the University of North Dakota. Schultz is active in several professional societies, including the American Institute for Chemical Engineers and the American Society for Engineering Education. In recognition of achievements in the field of chemical engineering, he was selected as the fellow in both the American Society of Engineering Education and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. 
He is active in the Boy Scouts of America and has served as president of the Coronado Council Board of Directors from 2011 to 2012. In 2013, he was recognized with the Distinguished Eagle Scout Award from the National Eagle Scout Association. Schultz also serves various roles on the Greater Manhattan Community Foundation, the Kansas Bioscience Authority, and the Commerce Bank of Kansas City Advisory Board. He is married to Dr. Noel Nunley Schultz, who serves as the Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Programs in the College of Engineering and the Paisley Professor of Electrical Engineering at Kansas State University. They have two sons, Tim and Andrew. It's my pleasure to, to introduce today, please welcome with me, President Kirk Schultz. Well, good afternoon, and let me offer my sincerest congratulations to our graduates today. Um, I appreciate the generous um, introduction. I often thought it'd be much, much better to let our spouses introduce us and say, he may be fellow of two societies, but he can't have the TV remote and doesn't take the trash out, and that would really be a much more uh, appropriate introduction. Well, as I was thought back of uh, my time when I got my, both my undergraduate degree and my doctoral degree uh, at Virginia Tech and an um, increasingly large number of years ago, I cannot tell you who the commencement speaker was. Um, and that's the same thing is going to happen to all of you all, but I, since I signed your diploma, you can always you know, look on there and figure it out. Um, you will remember, however, this occasion, and you'll remember your commencement, you'll remember your graduation and, and this next step that you take in your life. Um, I'm kind of a technology guy, so to help you all remember, what I'd like to do is take out your phones, and I know you all have them, don't pretend you don't have them. Uh, <laughs> And uh, go ahead and snap that selfie or a picture, or Instagram, whatever you, you stand up if you want to. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, see, we got, that's a leader right there. All right, awesome. And the rest of you are saying, uh, if, if the rest of the speech is going to be like this, we're in for a long 40 minutes. Okay. So I have a couple things that I'd like to leave with you today uh, that I've, found have been helpful uh, through my career in higher education and my service with the NCAA and Boy Scouts and other kinds of things. And it's really just four items. So I'll try and make it uh, short and, and simple kind of things. Hopefully you'll remember at least one or two of them. The first is uh, reading and read a lot. Um, I read quite a bit. I find uh, I use it for, I do it for pleasure. I do it when I travel. And uh, I don't read necessarily business and leadership books, right? I read a lot of fiction. So if you ask what kinds of things I'm reading now, um, The Yard by Alex Grecian, who happens to be a Kansas author. It's uh, set back in uh, the 1900s. The Bone Tree by Greg Isles, which is a murder, mystery, conspiracy type thing set back in Mississippi. The Agent Pendergraft novels by Preston and Child, and on and on and on. And what they are isn't as important is that you pick some things that allow you to let your mind escape and, and think different kinds of thoughts. Uh, I also enjoy history and biography, and I enjoyed Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson, and on my iPad now to read next is The Wright Brothers by David McCullough. And what I do is I find when I read these things, it clears my mind. And what happens is some of those problems I'm trying to solve at work, uh, some of the challenges we have as a university and as an institution after reading some fiction, some things that are completely different than my normal life, I come back to the problem and I've got a different way of thinking about it. So I would encourage you strongly, strongly to find things and read widely. The other thing that it helps you do is to evaluate different things. I read things that I disagree with. And what it does is it challenges my thoughts. If you always read things that you agree with, I don't think we challenge ourselves as we move ahead. So find some things that you may disagree with, maybe a political columnist who has a different set of viewpoints than you have. But if you read those types of things, it'll keep you thinking uh, clearly. Second, travel outside of the United States. 
I did not have the opportunity was I, when I was in school to travel outside the U.S. I had to work part-time as I was working my way through my undergraduate degree. I had some colleagues that did it, but I wasn't able to do it. So I had been married for 10 years. It was a, a decade basically past graduate school before I had the first opportunity to travel outside the United States. And you know, I put on a big, brave front. You know, I was ready to go. Uh, but I was worried about landing in Germany and could anybody understand me. I tried to take a German class so that I would, you know, understand the culture and be able to speak the language. Um, I spoke German on the train for one sentence and the person immediately I was speaking to switched to English. So um, that didn't work so well. But the, the point is, if you travel outside the United States, you gain a more firm appreciation for what we have in the U.S. You see a different way of doing things, and you recognize that while we like a lot of things about our country, there are other things out there that we need to be aware of and that are important for us to know. As you all graduate and move on in your jobs, you're entering very much of a global marketplace. Whether you like it or not, you will need to be proficient in talking with people in other cultures, with dealing with people in other cultures, and you need to be culturally sensitive so you don't show up have some error or something happen to you and think, boy, I wish I'd learned a little bit more about cultures around me. So take an opportunity if it comes up to get outside the U.S. You won't regret it a bit. Third, aim high in all that you do. Aim high in all that you do. During the intro, they talked about K-State 2025, and I certainly couldn't give a talk uh, in front of a group of people without mentioning it. Uh, but our goal to be a top 50 public research university. It's a stretch goal for us institutionally. And uh, there's some things we're making great progress on. There's some things we're not making great progress on. But what it represented was really us coming together as a K-State family and stretching to say, we want to continue to do wonderful things, but we're going to make ourselves even better. When we got here to K-State, and I say we, or many of people on our senior leadership team, we talked about that we needed to build these buildings that our student speaker talked about. We needed to do lots of things on our campus to continue to grow. And we looked and said, how can we do this? One of the ways is that we can use private philanthropy, go out and fundraise money to do things for K-State. At that time, we had never raised over $100 million in a single year for Kansas State University. And the idea of raising a billion dollars for Kansas State over an eight-year period was seemingly impossible. Well, folks, we are now basically five years into a billion-dollar campaign, and we've raised over $700 million for Kansas State. Now, I say this because five years ago, you would have looked back and said, that's never going to happen at Kansas State. That'll happen somewhere else, but not at K-State. You've got to step up and aim high. Now, all through your careers, as you do different things and you start your job, there's going to be an opportunity to take some dog work. You know, some of the ones that nobody else really kind of wants to do. As K-State graduates, you have a reputation of working hard and getting in there, rolling up your sleeves. When I talk about aiming high, take those difficult, challenging things at work that nobody else wants to do because you'll go in there, you'll plan it out, you'll work with your colleagues, and let me tell you, you'll do a great job and it'll help you in everything that you do. So number three, aim high. Number four, get involved in your community. Uh, when I finished at Virginia Tech, my wife and I, uh, we had a son, and we were ready to move out and see the world. Uh, we, were, we were ready to move to North Carolina or Virginia, maybe Maryland, you know, and that was about it. And uh, so when we wound up taking a job in North Dakota, moved all the way across the country, we thought, uh, you know, what are we doing? Well, and then you get to this new community, and it's not all the people you went to school with and your family, friends, and the first six months were very difficult. And then what we did is we said, you know what? If we're going to be here, we may as well be an important part of the community. So wherever you move and you go through your careers, be part of that community. Coach youth uh, sports. Uh, be active in your church. Uh, do things in civic organizations. Work at the food bank. It makes no difference what it is, but find some things to do. And all of a sudden, you'll find after six months, you go, you know, it isn't exactly like home, but this is pretty nice. And you meet a lot of other people. Communities need your involvement and engagement. Make sure that you find a way to do that. The fifth thing I'm going to leave with you today, and, and uh, I wanted to kind of end with this, is support K-State and the College of Human Ecology. 
As president, I get to work with alumni and friends at all of our different colleges, and I have met graduates of the College of Human Ecology all across this country, men and women who are running significant organizations, making a difference in people's lives and that uh, are inspiring to sit down and visit with. So you have a proud tradition of excellence in this college as you go out into the workforce. So when you get that inevitable phone call, because man, once you graduated, we'll find you no matter where you are. When you get that inevitable phone call that says, would you mind supporting the College of Human Ecology? And you're thinking, you know, I got my student loan, I'm working, I got all this other stuff to do. Maybe 20 bucks and maybe $50, but continue to financially support the College of Human Ecology. Other things that we need you to do, wherever you work, if they don't always hire K-Staters and you got that opening that you know coming up, call us. Say, hey, we need a great person. We know that there'll be somebody at Kansas State University that can help with that. When you see great students in your neighborhoods or other people around or go back to your high school or any of that thing, refer those students to Kansas State University. And then finally, you know, wear purple as often as you can. Um, I don't have any other ties in my wardrobe except purple and uh, be proud of that purple as our school color. It represents a lot more than just that. And uh, finally, I think these five things, read frequently, travel widely, aim high, be involved in your community, and support the College of Human Ecology. That's all you gotta remember. You don't have to remember who spoke, remember those five things. So folks, go out and do great things. It's an honor to be here as your commencement speaker. Look forward to shaking your hands as you come across and look forward to hearing your stories about how you're gonna go change the world. Go Cats, thank you. Let's see, after applause, oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> It's a problem with being a literalist. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Brad Seidner, Senior Vice President, Chief Operating Officer of the K-State Alumni Association, who will be in greetings on behalf of your alumni fellows. Well, good afternoon, graduates. And again, welcome, family and friends. On behalf of the Kansas State Alumni Association, representing over 175,000 living graduates at Kansas State. We would like to offer each of you our congratulations on your special accomplishment here today. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I'd like to share three core values that guide us in our mission to help you stay connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend upon to remain connected to your university. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities on campus, across the country, and even internationally. Another value is tradition. Today you will likely celebrate a few traditions, like singing the alma mater, or even stopping to take a KSU photo at your favorite spot on campus. And Dr. Schultz shared our third value, purple. That's right, K-State purple. For us K-Staters, purple is more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. Because when you see somebody wearing K-State purple, or wearing a K-State class ring, you immediately feel that sense of family. I'd also like to share that in recognition of your graduation today, the College of Human Ecology and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership with the Alumni Association. And we hope you'll always be an active member of your Alumni Association. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, you are now part of the number one Alumni Association in the Big 12 Conference for 19 consecutive years for our percentage of graduates that are members. That loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. I'm also pleased to share that the Alumni Association presented you with a gift that was on your chair as you came in today, 
and it's an exclusive alumni business card holder. And we hope you enjoy it. And as you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please keep us updated because we want to make sure that you always stay connected to your K-State family. Again, congratulations on your special accomplishment here today. Be proud of your university. Wear your purple with pride. And as always, let's go K-State. Thank you, Brad. Graduates, this day, your graduation, is an important occasion for you, for the faculty, and for family and friends. Your family members and friends, many of whom are with us today, have helped you achieve your goal of earning a college degree. Will you please join me in taking a moment to recognize them with a round of applause? In addition, will the faculty in the College of Human Ecology please rise so that we can thank you and commend you. Thank you. Okay, now, now it gets exciting. Now the moment that we've gathered to celebrate. Will all the candidates for degrees from the College of Human Ecology please stand? By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, upon recommendation by the faculty, upon completion of degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective baccalaureate degrees you have earned in the College of Human Ecology at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your motorboard. Congratulations to all the members of the class of spring 2015. You may now be seated. At today's ceremony, I invite President Kirk Schultz, Provost April Mason, Assistant Dean Shauna Jordan, and Assistant Dean Karen Pence to join me for the presentation of diplomas. Professor Barbara Anderson will present the degree candidates from the Department of Apparel, Textile, and Interior Design. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Apparel, Textiles, and Interior Design please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Apparel and Textiles, sorry, Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles and Bachelor of Science in Interior Design. Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles Apparel Design and Production, Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles, Apparel Design and Production and Apparel Marketing, Magna Cum Laude, Mercedes Garcias Reyes. <laughs> Caitlin Chelsea Knight. Ashley Suzanne Meek. Apparel Marketing, Magna Cum Laude, Samantha Elizabeth Bamford. K 
Kara Marie Beckwith. Sarah Christine Budkey. Carly Cobble. Amanda Marie Cook. Haley Christine Corbin. Ashley Nicole DeTurk. Mackenzie Rose Doty. Shannon Renee Gordon. Margaret Jean Heinrich. Bailey Danae Howard. Ashlyn Ann Lindsay. Megan Michelle McCoy. Rachel Mary Pedicino. Layla Arafat Ahmed Millard Sumar. Mackenzie Ann Schmeidler. Sabrina Nicole Sharp. Abigail Ashley Stack. Paige Louise Thomas. Brenna Jean Walker. Chloe Samantha Waters. Bachelor of Science in Interior Design, Shannon Kathleen Bowler. Caitlin Elizabeth Chichester. Heather Elizabeth Connolly. Gabrielle Avic Dawson. Katie Lynn Garrison. Secondary in Gerontology, Sarah Ann Jackson. Cum Laude, Shelby Nicole Kaiser. Secondary major in gerontology, Rachel Diane Knox. Secondary major in gerontology, Carol Ann Collins. Foster Lane Kuttner. Yong Q Lee. Brianne Marie Lettner. Magna Cum Laude, Danielle Marie Mai. Rachel Victoria Metzger.
Honors Project, Melissa Lynn Montgomery. Ashley Lanice Murray. Crystal Dawn Peterson. Jillian Renee Ryan. Alyssa Irene Smith. Chandler Jared Smith. Julie Catherine Shear. Caitlin Patricia Utz. Leslie Ann Wells. <laughs> Shihi Wong. Emma Rebecca Wilson. Dr. Dorothy Durbin will present the degree candidates for the School of Family Studies and Human Services. Will the degree candidates from the School of Family Studies and Human Services please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services and Bachelor of Science in Personal Financial Planning. Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Communication Sciences and Disorders. Marta Raquel Arbo Espinola. <laughs> Haley Alexis Argo. <laughs> Secondary major in gerontology, Andrea Elizabeth Ellen Bolig. <laughs> Cum laude, Megan Nicole Bruce. Magna Cum Laude, Brianne Marie Burris. Secondary major in gerontology, Hannah Elizabeth Cameron. Secondary major in gerontology, Nicole Danielle Davis. Alexandra Krause Dawes. Secondary major in gerontology, Ellen Jane Gordon. Julie Nicole Henson. Laura Elizabeth Irvin. Magna Cum Laude, Anne Elizabeth Jansen. Secondary major in gerontology, Heather Colleen Jones. Magna Cum Laude, Abigail Marie Kaplan. Summa cum laude, Christopher James Hart Kahn. Secondary major in gerontology, Michaela Marie Kristoff. Cassie Christina Landon. Magna cum laude, Jackie Dawn Lahechka. Kirsten Alexis McGuffin. Woo! 
summa cum laude, Eleanor Jean Mayusel. Claudia Maria Musi Campos Cervera. Cum laude, Molly Lynn Rappold. Summa cum laude, Honors Project, Abby K. Reynolds. Cum laude, Whitney Lee Root. Cum laude, Shelby Coel Rust. Magna cum laude, secondary major in gerontology, Mackenzie Lane Stansberry. Magna cum laude, Vanessa Ann Stiles. Courtney Marie Taylor. Cum laude, Mackenzie Abigail Veselik. Summa cum laude, Sarah Elaine Wilcox. Kendra Lee Zabatrisky. Early Childhood Education, Natalie Ann Hoffman. Summa cum laude, Gabrielle Katarina Lears. Tynesha Shante Moore. Michelle Lee Sanders. Family Studies and Human Services. Lindsay Alicia Albrecht. <laughs> Natasha Lorraine Bailey. <laughs> Magna cum laude, Adrian Michelle Berry. <laughs> Shayla Leanne Bates. Magna cum laude, Laura Lee Bumgartner. Michaela Nicole Beasley. Denise Hermione Belgrave Morris. Chloe Zoe Byron. Jennifer Bishop Veranda. Cum laude, Brooke Ann Boatwright. Emma Bell Boyer. Honey, Melanie, Jean, bonjour. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Bowles. <laughs> Brittany Ann Brake. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Brockman. Ashley Marie Brown. Allison Marlene Burton. Jennifer Lynn Butler.
magna cum laude, Kara Margaret Cavalli. Christina Chalet Kaw. Secondary major in gerontology, Adam Webster Kless. Magna cum laude, Kelly Ann Cohen. <laughs> Megan Marie Cordell. Caitlin Olivia Daniels. Magna cum laude, Ariel Sue Dodson. Summa cum laude, Allison Breen Dulac. Jordan Ashley Dunn. Sarah Lane Ellis. Nicole Marie Foschels. Sabrina Renee Fannin Hughes. Magna Cum Laude Honors Project Casey Janae Gatz. Bruce Grant Georgiana. Thomas Allen Gibson III. Laura Michelle Gonzalez. Renee K. Guerrero. Andrew Allen Har. Andrew's diploma would be presented by his mother, Sherry Har, professor in apparel, textiles, and interior design. Tara May Hageman. Eric Daniel Hall. Jennifer Elaine Hoppock. Alexander Craig Howard. Christian Edward James. Secondary major in gerontology, Carrie Jernstrom. Ajali Eline Jones. Trenton James Jones. Cum laude, Michelle Marie Kerr. Carly Rose Kelly. Meredith Christine Knudsen. Erin Nicole Copes. Hannah Jane Lackey. Allison Jean Lake. Sarah Marie Launchbaugh. Tara Elaine Lingard. Ruana 
Han Liu. Evan Matthew Loft. Amanda Marina Loya. Maggi Ariana Loya. Nicole Irene Mader. Jessica Marie Martin. Elizabeth Lauren McDonald. Amanda Gail McGraw. Magna Cum Laude, Catherine Ann McGreevy. Blair Marie McMillan. Secondary degree in gerontology, cum laude, Kendra Dawn McIvey. Magna cum laude, Benjamin David Meyer. Magna cum laude, Amanda Gail Mellenbrook. Sarah Dawn Melton. <laughs> Hannah Marie Meyer. <laughs> Ashley Christine Monet. <laughs> Rhiannon Kathleen Nedland. Cum laude, Caitlin Renee Newshafer. Samantha Marie Nicolache. Lucia Grace Noya. Kelly Elizabeth Novacell. Serena Rochelle O'Connor. Kara Elizabeth Olson. Haley Marie Pollock. Victoria Christine Peterson. Secondary major in gerontology, Jennifer Lynn Palin. Taylor Brianne Peters. Julia Margaret Honath. Magna cum laude, Shandy Beth Porter. Ashley Lynn Quakenbush. <laughs> Carrie Ann Ricketts. Ross Alexander Riley. <laughs> Catherine Jean Robarts. Cum laude, Paige Malin Russell. Rachel Sudarshan Suchdeva. Alexandra Beth Samazin. Molly Christine Sievert.
Angela Michelle Sewell. Hannah Elizabeth Sharp. Michael Olawatayo Shaude. Garrett Matthew Smith. Morgan Elizabeth Smith. Sarah Allison Smith. Marion Elizabeth Steinert. Secondary major in gerontology, Morgan Francis Streeter. Zachary Michael Stroth. Cum laude, Michaela Marie Stuckey. Jody Lynn Swenson. Julia Marie Teeter. Secondary major in gerontology, Casey Lee Thayer. Christina M. Thompson. Caroline Stevens Toller. Abigail Lynn Treadwell. Dee Marie Vermillion. Kimberlyn Dawn Both. Claire Margaret War. Janice M. Walker. Cum laude, Anna Juliet Waugh. Molly Maureen Westling. Cum laude, Emma Therese Woodard. Victoria Lynn Reed. Brandon Anthony John. Personal Financial Planning, Matthew Angelo Munoz. Rachel Joanne Vogler. Dr. Melody LeHue will present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management and Dietetics. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management and Dietetics please rise? Dean Buckwalder, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Dietetics, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, and Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Health and Nutrition, Abby Lee Albrecht. Cum laude, Cynthia Pamela Arias Dowling. Hannah Danielle Burgess. 
Magna Cum Laude, Zhang Mu Ang Chen. Angela Marie Cusimano. Summa Cum Laude, Brooke Alexander Dorr. Jordan Amanda Edmonds. Summa Cum Laude, Secondary Major in Gerontology, Callie Elizabeth Farrell. Kathy L. Fuchs. Sarah Ann Jenton. Kylie Nicole Harlow. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Public Health Nutrition, magna cum laude, Morgan Louise Hook. Magna cum laude, Jin Hui Hu. Amy Marie Hundley. Caitlin Elizabeth Jones. Megan Joanne Catt. Summa Cum Laude, Laura Teresa Kerner. Erin Elizabeth Lichter. Magna Cum Laude, Pauline Marie Lindsay. Joel David Morgan. Caitlin Jo Munziger. Casey Allen Nelson. Summa Cum Laude, Dana Marie Pocta. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Public Health Nutrition, Cum Laude, Christine Marie Rogers. Summa Cum Laude, Shanna Marie Stewart. Cindy Tay. Emily Elizabeth Wilson. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management. Jory Suzanne Bloom. Allison Sidney Bly. Olivia Diane Divish. Gloria Elizabeth Finn. William Richard Hammer. Cum laude, Abigail Margaret Huddleston. Jingying Lu. Emily Grace Rempel. Colton Wayne Rohr. Kelsey Nicole Stanley.
Haley Nicole Stephenson. Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Secondary in Gerontology, Joshua Oren Allen. Cameron, Cameron Vance Kane. Brooke Catherine DeCant. Madeline Ann Drake. Alyssa Diane Ebersole. Ling Jung Fung. Jessica Amelia Harris. Kyle Joseph Heffern. Kelsey Renee Hilton. Thomas Lee Holmes. Bridget Rose Hornsby. Drew Elston Jacobson. Parker Lane Jensen. Kayla Joy Jewell. Chu Jin. Brett Aaron Jones. Tanner Lee King. Kendall Waterbury Ladd. Allison K. Lemke. Holly Catherine Litchett. Charla Rose Norquest. Charles Foster Novick. Michael Blake Oakley. Margaret Linnea Peterson. Megan Denise Roberts. Hillary Brian Schaefer. Montana Brett Sharp. Blue Lewis Teague. Lacey Janae Unrine. U.F. Yuan. And Zhao Zhang. Shui Zhang. Assistant Dean Karen Pence will present the degree candidates for general human ecology. Will the degree candidates for general human ecology please rise? Dean Buckwalter, 
I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Human Ecology. Bachelor of Science in Human Ecology, Family and Consumer Sciences Education, Kelsey Ray Fisher. Alexis Nicole Lundy. <laughs> Elizabeth Suzanne Otto. Megan Marie Schneeberger. Kaylee Bianca Wicky. Dr. Mark Hobb will present the degree candidates from the Department of Human Nutrition. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Human Nutrition please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition. Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Kenneth Royal Brown III. Amanda Jean Ely. Jeffrey Wade Hargis. Jana L. Kennard. Mitchell Lee Savage. Lindsay Dawn Schmidt. Catherine R. Slavin. Sarah Marie Snodgrass. Honors Project, Jessica Paige Spencer. Cum laude, Brandy Alexandra Tholstra. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Health, Kaylee Hannah Brown. <laughs> Leah Marie Felice. Okay. Congratulations, Lauren. Cum laude, Lauren Corinne Fisher. <laughs> Ashley Dawn Goody. Kelly Elizabeth Graham. Margaret Emma Hutchison. That's her. Secondary major in gerontology, Erlisha Louise Killen. Joey Michael Platt. Secondary major in gerontology, Courtney Ray Sager. Secondary major in gerontology, Alyssa Renee Scott. Cum laude, secondary major in gerontology, Allison Marie Sharp. 
Nutrition and Kinesiology, Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Kinesiology, and Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Bernadette Marie Pru. Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Kinesiology, and Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Brandon McKenna Reed. Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Kinesiology, and Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, cum laude, Cassidy Melanie Simmons. Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Kinesiology, and Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Aaron Caleb Swank. <laughs> Nutritional Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition and Nutritional Sciences, Student Commencement Speaker, Summa Cum Laude, Honors Project, Samantha Marie Clausen. <laughs> Jacob Travis Culver. Cassandra June Dvorak. Grant Eugene Geiger. John Ross Gale. Public Health Nutrition, Aaron Grace Allender. Summa cum laude, secondary major in gerontology, honors project, D Daniel, Danielle, Constance, Dobratz. Graber. Summa cum laude, secondary major in gerontology, Lauren M. Graber. Secondary major in gerontology, Laura Deanne Haynes. Summa cum laude, Mary Elizabeth Joyce. Emily Ledbetter. Dan Dan Liu. Amanda K. McElroy. Shanine Michelle Silk Valentino. Lindsay Ann Smith. Minhee Katie Yi. Bradley Lauren Youngers. Dr. Craig Harms will present the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology please rise? <clears throat> Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. Kyle Carter Alford. Christopher Scott Anderson. Joseph Daniel Augustine. Dante M. Barnett. Cum laude, Marissa Marie Bartosh. Bryant Michael Benneke. Sage Ray Berry. Magna Cum laude, Catherine Marie Bolin.
William Lewis Bothwell. Caleb Allen Brill. Heidi Nicole Brown. John Isaac Bush. Magna Cum Laude, Taryn Brooks Carlisle. Cum laude, Kenneth Matthew Castanato. David Anthony Chatelaine. Garrett Cole Cheney. Congratulations. Tiffany Lynn Clements. Jenna Marie Clowers. Amber Lynn Corpstein. Nathaniel Don Doherty. Lori Michelle Dement. Kara Elise Donnelly. Dustin Dean Alexander Douglas. Nicholas Bender Drake. Kelly Nicole Flick. Benjamin Joseph Fox. Andrew Winston Frazier. Jessica Catherine Frederick. Sean Daniel Genski. Andrew Getz. Emily Danielle Gorman. Magna Cum Laude, Melissa Angela Graves. Nathaniel Athakun Greer. Cum Laude, Kayla Elizabeth Hare. Summa Cum Laude, Logan Paul Haug. Kyle Dean Headland. Cum laude, Brittany Sarah Hollerback. Secondary major in gerontology, Hannah Elise Hovis. Lance Joseph Hulse. Dennis Martin Joka. Kiana R. Johnson. Summa cum laude, Kayla Lynn Jurens. Samantha Spencer Canowin. Cum laude, 
Brooke Caitlin Catterhenry. Drake Edward Kaiser. Magna Cum Laude, Kirsten Taylor Kirkendall. Matthew Jordan Kirk Kendall. Jessica Grace Levering. Adriana Jean Lewis. Congratulations. Thank you. Magna Cum Laude, Jameson Brian Mackey. Quentin Russell McAfee. Jordan Frank Meyer. Cum laude, Elisa Moore. Cum laude, Andrea Marie Moyer. Douglas Neal. Allison Michelle Niedery. Cindy Nystrom. Nicole Louise Oberdofer. Joseph Armin O'Connor. Dixon Lane Olson. Misha Lauren Picada. Brad Wesley Perkins. Elizabeth Gillette Peatlin. Michael Sean Peterson. Alexandria Nicole Powell. Jordan Elizabeth Roberts. Ashley Marie Maria Rodriguez Burtz. Matthew S. Repke. Braden Pierce Sawfeld. Ryan Edward Schultz. Morgan Ashley Shoemaker. Laura Elizabeth Skaggs. Hannah Grace Smith. Summa Cum Laude, Dustina Lynn Sprigg. Kimberlyn Michelle Stevens. Maggie Joy Stitham. Andrew Wayne Stouffer. Joseph Taylor Streff. Lauren Ann Strickler.
Secondary Major in Gerontology, Aaron Morgan Sumner. Nicholas James Swickard. Magna Cum Laude, Haley Kathleen Taylor. Audrey Jill Thompson. Cum Laude, Audrey Diane Thompson. Kara Marie Useldinger. Stephen Lee Walton II. Adam Joseph Weber. Max Jordan Williams. Abigail Rose Wilson. Shelby J. Wilson. Chelsea Danielle Wright. Please join me in congratulating all of our new graduates. Which is which? Oh, I can figure them out there. You guys have like a Graduates, you came to Kansas State University from all corners of the world, and for a brief moment in time, your lives converged in the classrooms, laboratories, and studios in the College of Human Ecology. It has been for us faculty members a privilege to help you learn. From here, your lives once again diverge as you pursue advanced degrees, careers, and as you follow your passions through as yet unknowable life pursuits. As you start your new lives, I'd like to challenge you to do three things. And we didn't coordinate this, but uh, the president and I sort of overlapped in our challenges to you. First, be generous with your time and talents. As college graduates, you are truly a privileged group. You can think of the service that you provide others as the rent you pay for this place in the world. I would challenge each and every one of you to always strive to live in a high rent district. Second, never stop learning. Your education at Kansas State University has given you the skills to be a lifelong learner. Take advantage of it. If your time after graduation is like mine, 
your life will be shaped by ideas and technologies that have yet to be developed. Embrace the idea that this is not the end of your education, but really only the beginning. And finally, continue to support the cats. At some point, give a K-State graduate a job. Refer a student to K-State, and always stay connected to your K-State family. As you leave this great university, you take with you the best wishes of the faculty. We wish you satisfaction and success in all your personal and professional endeavors. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to the College of Human Ecology graduating class 2015. At this point, you're going to do something old and something new. At this point, I'd like to invite you to stand and join Rachel in the singing of the alma mater the first time as alumni. At the end of the refrain, will the audience please be seated for the recessionals? 